Dear PCC slash St. Frederick ex students, it is a privilege for me to have been given this opportunity to talk to you after 15 years as proprietor of St. Frederick Mobile Comprehensive High School, Bamenda. We have been communicating with some former students of our reverend institution through the social media and during chapter meetings. But this is the first time to have been accorded this opportunity to share with you the progress and challenges your alma mater faces. We shared some pictures and images of the school with you in our effort to bring to you some nostalgic memories of our reputable institution and the legacy Pamubang left for us to nourish and nature to attend its founding vision. I trust you can observe that a lot has changed. The first change I wish to underscore is the name change. A lot of former students have been eager to know why we changed the college name from PCC to St. Frederick. The reason is that when the founder and vision bearer of the college, Pa Fred Mubang, died, the school was shut down for some few years. When the family began the process of reopening the school, the Catholic Church, where he was a strong member, advised that we rename the college after him as a way of honoring him and invoking his patron saint, Frederick, to intercede for him and for the school. The challenge was now how to articulate the new name to incorporate the former students. That is how we arrived at the current name. I trust no former student feels left out with the new nomen culture. The second change that some former students always bring to my attention is the uniform. They want to know what happened to their green and white color uniforms. When I took over as proprietor, I received a lot of complaints from our students being mistaken for militants of the Social Democratic Party that had the same colors for their uniform. Considering the political tension at the time, and coupled with the way the government treats opposition parties in this country, we decided to change the uniform for the sake of security of our students. The third change is the conversion of the former boys' dormitory to Campus B. This was done to accommodate the increasing number of students who came knocking at our doors for enrollment. However, what happened precisely was that the front block and the smaller block behind were destroyed. Then we started two ground floor plus three story structures to create more space for lecture halls and offices. Unfortunately, those structures are still uncompleted. We had planned to complete them in 2017, but the crisis came and put everything on a standstill. Thank God that in 2021, things started picking up again, though slowly. Our hope and objective is to complete the construction during this third term holiday. A fourth change is the population of the school and teaching staff. During the days of PCC, we had between 600 and 700 students with a staff of about 20. Today, the population has grown to 2,500 students, of which 500 are brothers and 2,000 are day students. The increase is for the most part because schools like Longla Comprehensive College and most government schools in the suburbs of Bamenda are not functioning. Because we are located in the center of Bamenda and surrounded by the central police, judicial police, and rapid intervention forces, our school has become a safe haven for many students in Bamenda. The fifth change is that 
we have been able to build on the successes of the past or former PCC and improved academically. In the past GCE examination, St. Frederick scored in the technical and vocational education, that is intermediate, ordinary level, 96%. In the technical and vocational education, that is advanced level, 94%. General education, that is O level, 92%. And general education, A level, 93%. However, I wish to let us know that it has not been easy for the past four years. The school was again temporarily shut down for a year due to the socio-political crisis. I was kidnapped inside the office and taken to the forest, tortured, and had to pay a ransom before I was released. My crime was that our school was operational during the crisis. During that period, we struggled with an enrollment of about 200 and 300 students for about three years. Teachers were owed arrears. Interest on loans we took to construct Campus B accumulated. Despite the tough times, we have struggled to keep the school moving. I have been telling parents what Pa Mubang used to tell parents during his days that the best gift you can provide your child is education, not money or property. Educate your children, I tell them, because they are your pension or social security when you get old. Thank God they listened and the school is open up till now. Despite the successful enrollment we have recorded, we still greatly need help from our former students to do better and nurture the vision of our founder and the legacy of our former students. The science department has grown tremendously and needs a well-equipped laboratory. We need lab equipment and reagents for chemistry, biology, and physics labs. We also need computers and laptops for our computer labs. We need a school library. Please support your alma mater. It is a way of giving back. Let's always use Pa Mubang as our example. He was by far not the richest man in the Northwest region, but he set out to educate the leaders of tomorrow and with mega resources he had. He did not start the college to make money, but because he wanted to give education to our children. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak with you. I wish you all a successful meeting. Feel free to visit your alma mater in case you find yourself in Bamenda. We are very proud of the successes of Pa Mubang's children, who you are. I know Pa is in heaven, feeling very proud of his children and their accomplishments. Thank you very much and God bless our Despora Ex-Students Association.